Kate spoke enthusiastically about becoming the aunt of yet another baby. The Duchess of Cambridge was in Cornwall today in a major display of royal soft diplomatic power. During the afternoon, she visited Connor Downs Academy with US First Lady Jill Biden. There, she was asked by a US reporter about the new addition to the royal family, Meghan and Harry's daughter Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor. Kate said, I wish her the very best. I can't wait to meet her. Speaking about a possible future meeting, she said, we haven't met her yet, I hope that will be soon. Asked if she has held a video call with the newborn and her parents, Kate answered, no, I haven't. Lily was born on June 4 in the trusted care of the doctors and staff at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital. News of her birth was kept quiet until June 6, when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex spokesperson released a statement. The baby, the spokesperson said, was well and weighed 7 pounds 11 ounces. The statement went on to explain the reason behind the names chosen by the Sussexes. It read, Lily is named after her great-grandmother, Her Majesty the Queen, whose family nickname is Lilibet. Her middle name, Diana, was chosen to honor her beloved late-grandmother, the Princess of Wales. A footnote to the statement published on our tool. The website of Meghan and Harry's organization, added the Duke and Duchess are now on paternal leave. Lilibet is Kate's second niece, as the Duchess sister Pippa Middleton gave birth in March to Grace Elizabeth Jane Matthews. Kate also has two nephews, Meghan and Harry's firstborn Archie Harrison and Pippa and James Matthews' son Arthur Michael William. Kate and Dr. Biden, who met today for the first time, share an interest in the early years and childhood's education. During their visit to the school, the pair sat down with four- and five-year-old children and took part in their activities. They also took brought carrots to be fed by the pupils to the school's resident rabbits. At the school, Kate and Dr. Biden later attended a roundtable discussion with British and American experts on the impact the experiences carried out over the first five years in the life of children have on their lifelong development. Following their first successful meeting, Kensington Palace shared on social media a picture of the pair speaking. The tweet read, Welcome to the UK, Flotus, First Lady of the United States. It was great to host Dr. Jill Biden and experts from the UK and the United States for a discussion on the importance of early childhood on lifelong outcomes, on the first day of the G7 summit. Kate isn't the only member of the royal family in Cornwall today. The Queen, the Duchess of Cornwall, Prince Charles and Prince William are also attending events with world leaders. Ahead of tonight reception and the family photo including royals and politicians, Prince William will join Prince Charles, hosting another reception for world leaders and CEOs of some of the most important companies in the world to speak about sustainable markets and how to tackle climate change.